planet Mars. August 2003, Mars in its orbit around the Sun, which is not a perfect circle, it's an ellipse. Sometimes Mars is closer to the Sun, sometimes it's farther away. Earth in our orbit around the Sun is an ellipse. Sometimes we're farther, sometimes we're closer. In the configuration of Earth and Mars, when we are at our farthest from the Sun, and Mars is at its closest to the Sun, and if we're on the same side of the Sun as each other, then we're very close to each other. Got that? So we're far, Mars is close, we're together, we're close. So, in August of 2003, we would be closer to Mars than we've ever been in 60,000 years. This became big news. Unjustifiably so. <laughs> this, this news story got out of hand, and in my community, it's called the Mars hoax. Okay? Because people started writing, you can find the internet where it says, we'll be so close to Mars, Mars will be the size of the full moon on the night sky. If you need sunglasses <laughs> to drive at night, Mars glasses. <laughs> is east by the point. Okay, I see five different directions. That's a bad sign, okay? Oh, I'm facing east? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with the majority on that. And sir, you better get your compass checked out. You better buy a new GPS on that one. All right, east. So that would make this west. Okay, so you ready? Ready? Headlines. We've never been this close to Mars in 60,000 grand. I'm here in the middle of the United States. Texas. You know my favorite line? I lived here for six years. You know, you know what my favorite line? Wherever you're going in America, wherever you're going in America, by the time you get to the Texas border, you're halfway there. That was like, so cool. It's like really true, you know? Okay. So, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> I've never been this close to China before. <laughs>